This was the first moment of terror. Watch as cars drive along a busy street outside a football stadium, then the unthinkable. From another angle, these musicians, these musicians with a camera rolling, capture the moment of the blast. And just listen to this inside as commentators run for cover. The explosion caused by a car bomb. The football match had just finished and fans were flooding into the streets. Before ambulances could even arrive, a second blast. This one, a suicide bomber, detonating barely a kilometer away. The bright flash of light seen around the city. A Kurdish militant group claimed responsibility, saying they weren't targeting civilians, only the police. Turkey's president today vowing revenge. They need to know that we will not let this go unpunished and that they will pay a higher price for which they need to understand. The site of the attack, once a place of celebration, is now a somber memorial. This right here is the exact spot where the car bomb exploded. All day people have been gathering, offering prayers for the victims. We in Turkey are a very strong country, this man says. These explosions will reinforce our solidarity, unity and integrity. But this is just the latest in a series of attacks terrorizing the country in the past year, leaving many feeling trapped. I worry about being outside in the daytime, evenings or nights, this young woman says, because the time and the place, it doesn't matter anymore. And for many, that is their biggest fear, that the terrorists can strike anywhere at any time.